What's up guys, I'm Chesapeake, Chesapeake Hammock and Outdoors. And here's a little better look at the tents of four hammock stand. So as we get a little closer, you can see my Dutch wearer chameleon. And then you'll be able to see the collapsible poles. Tinsel logo on there. You just snap right together with press studs. There's the AM steel loop and ball that runs through the top. And instead of having the head end staked out, well, I guess used with the orange screw, just to have a little counterweight, I've got the, the bag with, I think, just the boom from the boom stake in it and a couple other small things. It really doesn't weigh much, but it's just enough weight to maybe provide you a little bit of play if you sit down on that side of the line so it doesn't completely mousetrap on you too fast. And then going up to the head end, you can see the suspension here. I've just got my continual loops hooked onto, I guess you'd say larks headed, onto my whoopee slings. And then you've got the included 12 kilonewton beaners there. Nice beaners. Same thing, you got AM still loop and ball. Just feed it through and it just slides over the end. This just allows you to thread it through the top of the pole. You got one end of the strap is daisy chain, so you can Use that for your hammock suspension if needed. I've just got it on the very top loop up there. Then you've got a cinch buckle. And then I've just got it wrapped around the tree and a marlin spike. I used the stake that comes with it. So nice long stake for, you know, rocky soil or whatever. And then you can use the orange screw for soft or sandy soil so that's a little bit better look without the tarp on it the bottom here is this is another piece of webbing and then you can adjust it and then it'll make it go up higher it'll bring it in so then the, the the ends will go up and then you can lengthen this or you can have you know you can adjust it it take like i said before it does take a little bit of adjusting but once you've got it adjusted it's, it's very simple to put it together and set it up in just a minute or so <laughs> so tonight hopefully i'm gonna stay out here um do the first night i've used it um it should be in the 70s but very low humidity it was a really pretty day here so I'm gonna try using it tonight and then we'll come over here and hop in so you guys can see So we just have to remember to stay on the head side of the hammock at all times. Make sure it's wide enough. And then we just sit in and lay back. And we are good to go. My head isn't touching the pole my feet are not touching the pole I'm trying to reach it with my foot and I don't I can't reach it but one added advantage is 
you can use the poles from the stand as places to guide your hammock out to. So that's that's a good plus. Close the net there. So I'm gonna stay out here in the hammock tonight. We've got the uh, included ridge line up there, but I do have an Amstel ridge line, so that's not necessary. But I left it up. So, but you can take it down. You don't need it if you have a hammock ridge line. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at just the stand without the tarp on it. So I'm gonna get out and I just make sure I'm on this side because if I get on this side, as you'll see here, as I shift my weight, it wants to mouse trap on me. So if you want to see a really good video of that happening, you can check out Shug's tensor video. I'm too chicken to let it happen, but as you can imagine, all of this up here would come right at my face and I would get closed up in the hammock and I really don't want to do that right now. So I want to spare you guys that, but you can see the poles moving back and forth. So I want to make sure I close the bug net so when I go to get in tonight I don't have any friends in there with me. <laughs> and that's it. That is a close-up look at the tents of four hammock stand so it's definitely a neat piece of gear I've seen pictures of people using them in hotel rooms so you can really take this anywhere that you can fit it and you know guy it out all you need is one guy out point for the head end and then you, you don't need anything on the head end but a little bit of a counterweight like I said gives you that extra extra bit of time and a little bit of distance on this side help push it down on the head end but not necessary so just like I said I wanted to give you guys a quick look at it there she is I'll be doing a lot more videos with it in the near future as the temperature changes and I can get back outside so I'm Chesapeake this is Chesapeake Camera Can Outdoors see you guys next time